everybody, welcome back to another video with me, Jamie. And today I'm going to be talking about vitamin C. Um, I was so overwhelmed when vitamin C just came about. Because not only did I want to try a vitamin C serum, I wanted to try a hyaluronic acid, I wanted to try a retinol, I wanted to try anti-aging cream. And right now there's just so many out there, so I was just so overwhelmed. I did do my research and um, I was looking for something kind of a cocktail where I can get the best of everything. So I hopped onto Amazon and found this one. This is an all natural brand. It's by Lilian Natural. It's a vitamin C serum and comes in a one ounce dropper bottle. I chose this specifically because it does have vitamin A, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It does have some other ingredients which I will go through in this video and let you know why I chose to buy this one. Firstly, this is an organic skincare line and it's said to be a premium high potency serum. I prefer using these kind of cocktail serums as it just saves me time and effort. A couple of things this serum claims to do is work as an anti-aging treatment, brighten your skin complexion, improves the clarity of your skin and gives you better texture as well. Since this does contain vitamin E, it's going to help you lighten your hyperpigmentation, fade scars and reduce those fine lines. This serum is so lightweight that you can also use this in sensitive areas like underneath your eye area to reduce the dark circles and fine lines. From all of the claims that they've made, I can definitely say that I have seen a big change in my skin since I've started using this serum. However, I won't be able to give you much feedback from the anti-aging perspective as you do need to use it for three to six months to actually see a big difference. Also, I want to make a mention that it did take me about a month and a half, about two months, to actually see the scars lighten. And you can see it's, it's not uh, gone completely. You can still see it. It's there. Uh, if you do want to use a faster process in lightening your dark spots, I would suggest to try the Kiehl's Dark Spot Corrector. I've done a review on that. I'll put it up here. The vitamin C serum does take time, so it's not magic. And the one thing that I was looking forward to really trying out with this serum is underneath my eye area which is for my dark circles it does do an okay job but i think i just need more sleep i've been using vitamin c serum for about two two and a half months now this specific serum and i have seen a couple of changes in my skin but this is not the first time i've been using a vitamin c ingredient in in my skincare i used them before and i've seen changes i really do like a vitamin C as an ingredient in my skin type simply because it gives me a brightened complexion and helps with my scars as well but I don't understand the hype that it has caused caused recently I mean now everybody wants a vitamin C you know from a particular brand there are so many vitamin C serums out there that are uh, aren't too expensive you can find them on amazon another thing i want to make a mention here is i may not be the best person to tell you what you need to use for your skin as everybody has a different skin type and different ingredients work differently on different people i'm just a beauty reviewer i'm going to tell you how this product over here worked on my skin which is normal at the moment and for my age type um, I would suggest if you, you know, have severe scars on your face or you're really, really young and want to try a vitamin C serum, I would suggest seeing a doctor or a skin therapist. Maybe they would be able to tell you. And another thing is don't trust anybody and everybody um, on YouTube or on Instagram. I mean, everybody's skin is different. So, and if you do really, really want to try this, I would suggest please do a test because I've heard so many people telling me that a vitamin C uh, serum has left them with burns and have left scars on their face. So please do a test either on the inside of your hand or maybe your neck and then put this to your face. It's always a good idea to start with a lower concentration and let your skin adapt to this. 
and then move to a higher dose. Vitamin C in its most potent form is called L-ascorbic acid, which simply reads as LAA and can be found in so many ingredient lists these days. Now, I also made a mention that this serum does contain hyaluronic acid, which is HA. Hyaluronic acid is a powerful humectant, which helps retain moisture. It improves the skin ability to hold up the hydration and soak it in the different layers of the skin while providing the skin with the intense moisture. This also contains vitamin E. Now vitamin C and vitamin E are both part of the same antioxidant gang and they work better together. How much do I use? Many of these um, serums or creams usually have this printed on the bottle or the tube but I guess it just comes down to personal preference. Always give serums, moisturizers about 15 to 20 minutes to absorb into the skin before you move on to the next step. I use this serum underneath my moisturizer during the day and by itself in the night. My preference is using it by itself in the night. I like applying this just once during the day and I'm going to be adding the ingredient list here down below so that you can read. Like I said, I got this on Amazon and I'm not sure how much I paid but I will put it up here for you to see. Store a vitamin C serum somewhere in the dark away from direct sunlight. Typically, a vitamin C serum comes in a darker bottle. However, mine is in an opaque bottle which is fine. Um, also want to make a mention to once you start using the serum, remember to screw on the bottle properly and tight as if air does seep in it can oxidize the serum remember and I'm going to say this three times remember remember not to use a vitamin C serum when you're using retinol vitamin A niacinamide or vitamin B3 there's a whole scientific explanation as to why you're not supposed to combine any of these together. I'm not the best at explaining these things. Maybe a skincare specialist would be able to help you better. But I just want to get it out there that a vitamin C serum should not be used with any of these ingredients. Capiche? Make sure when you're buying or storing vitamin C, it either should be clear or a champagne color. If it's cloudy or it's yellow, it's probably oxidized so you would need to discard it. I will also put the link to that Amazon website down in my description box so go check that out. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in my next. Bye!